Hello everyone. Good evening. Happy Sunday. I am checking in with everyone. I would first like to say thank you to all of uh, friends and family and social media contacts, business associates, uh, an abundance of people who have sent me IM messages, messages, emails, texts, and have sent their uh, support and just checking in on me. I appreciate it. I thank you all for thinking of me and mine. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all. Uh, those that are concerned, I really do appreciate it. My family appreciates it. Thank you very much. Uh, I do not talk about the other family members in my family because of the fact is not that I don't under, it's not that I know that you all are not concerned about them, but this is the platform that I choose to speak of. And it is not something that they are choosing to put their business out and I don't want to talk about them. So it's a matter of their privacy. So please honor me and I choose to respect their privacy. If they wanted to talk about what they're going through or not going through, they would do it. So uh, don't do not take it amongst yourself to think that they are or are not sick. That's not the case. So please don't do any type of assumptions. That's not what's going on. I'm choosing social media. They're not. <clears throat> so today was a very good day. I got some good sleep last night. Very good sleep. Um, for the first time, this is going to be so ironic. It, you're going to find when, if you get COVID, there are small, uh, uh, awards that you're just very proud of. So as much drinking and I, that I've been doing, because you have to stay hydrated. And I do mean at least every hour and definitely no more than two hours, definitely no more than two hours, I'm going through some form of water, Powerade, or orange juice. Every hour or two hours, all day. And it is, it's going through me, obviously. But uh, I'm one of those people that I go to the bathroom about 3 a.m., like like clockwork, just automatically get up. I'm half sleep, go to the bathroom, get right back in the bed, go back to sleep. This was before COVID. And this whole last week have not been doing that. I've been up. My body's been hurting, but I have not been going to the bathroom. And so last night was the first time that, first off, I did not wake up in pain. Whoo! And I woke up at 3 a.m. and went to the bathroom and went right back to sleep. I was like, oh, boy, we have reached a milestone. So I was quite happy. So I was not in pain. I, I slept through the night and uh, just woke up naturally on my own. So that was really good. I did not have not one back pain for the first time. I'm really good. Didn't have that a rolling pain. That was a blessing. Uh, no still cannot smell or taste. Just whatever. <laughs> just whatever. It is what it is. Uh, I took my hot bath tonight and uh again people these are things that i'm doing so please know that medical doctors and nurses and all of those you need to consult those people but even still COVID 19 is new no one really knows what to tell you to do everyone is really even in the medical world treating this newly themselves they're they treating it like malaria or virus or pneumonia the flu they don't quite know quite what to do either and because it is a virus and a novel virus there's nothing that they can really prescribe to you um it's a it has to just kind of run its course they can treat other things that you might have a cough a fever those things but COVID, there is nothing they can treat for COVID. So that's what I'm saying. You have to kind of do the other thing. So I took my my hot bath, as I told you. I put my peppermint essential oil in it. I got that bath hot, closed the doors. It was a sauna, raised that water all the way up, soaked my body in there, took that towel, dipped it in that hot water and that essential oil and put it on my face. And I could just, I was just soaking in that peppermint in my nose and mouth and just letting it just all steam up. I was just pouring sweat. So that felt really soothing. Uh, the funny thing is, is that I can't smell it, but I can feel it. Oh, it's, it's weird. It's hard to explain. So it's really good. 
Oh, uh, so another thing is that um, when I got done with that, because uh, I had ordered us uh, new toothbrushes, uh, tongue compressors, that kind of stuff. You want to during after your ten days quarantine, you really want to change out if you were disposable contacts. So anything that goes in your eye, if it goes in your ear or your mouth. So I guess if you wear dentures uh, or um, retainer, anything of that nature, um, you don't want to reinfect yourself because after your 10 days of quarantine, you can reinfect yourself. So uh, your toothbrush, this is also for your kids. Um, they don't really know how long it kind of lives on surfaces. So you definitely don't want to just put something right back in your mouth that you've been using every day. And so a toothbrush is one of the things you use every day. Something else, and uh, like, you know, touching something. I mean, I was, I guess you've been in your car. Cause you wouldn't have been in your car for 10 days, that type of thing. So it should not be alive or you can go in there and you can spray. If you just felt better, I would. I would go in there and spray my car down uh, or a uh, car seat, those type of things. Anything that you touch all the time, you definitely want to spray that down with something that's 99%. Uh, alcohol, uh, but everything else, I would order a new toothbrush. Any, uh, you want to change out your, you don't want to use the same towel every day, face towel, body towel. Every time I take a bath, just, I, I put it in the wash. You don't want to, you won't, you don't want to keep using that stuff every single day. Um, so you just want to get rid of that and put it in the wash and wash it and dry it. Um, as far as your pillows daily, uh, Myself personally, this is nobody told me to do this. I just put ours in the dryer because heat is just a destroyer of all elements. So you, if you just put it in the dryer every day, it, fluff it back out and let it be in the heat or even the sun. It's so hot in Texas, it, it could go in the sun. But for myself, just put it in the dryer and um, for a couple of minutes, you know, five, ten minutes and sh should be good. But those are just things that I do. You don't have to do it. And, you know, I'm just giving you my knowledge. I, I don't want to get this again. So I didn't want to get the first time. So I sure don't want to get it again. Um, FYI, that's what I'm just saying. So you might want to do those things. Um, so uh, outside of that, it was a good day. You know, do it, did our chest compressions and our mucus things and uh, ate well and had family, a whole lot of family call. And that was really good to, to, to hear from everyone. And uh, that's about it. So down to another week and a couple more days to go and we'll be done. And we have not gone. I haven't gone backwards. Uh, spouse hasn't contacted anything. So he hasn't developed any symptoms. So I have to say that. My stuff must be working. That's about all I can say. Uh, one thing that I did add to it, that just added to it, it has been said that melatonin, at least three milligrams, has been shown, and you can Google this, YouTube it, melatonin has been shown to first off be good as a prevention of COVID, but it has also been very good as if you've been infected to assist you in your recovery faster. One reason that it has stated is that children between the ages of one and nine, the ages of one and nine seem to recover faster or be asymptomatic with COVID is because they have a high level of melatonin in their system. You can Google this. You can research it on your own. So doctors have been giving patients who can't recover high doses of melatonin of at least three milligrams. I happen to just have melatonin. I happen to have it when we travel because I most of the time am backwards on sleeping and it's just great for me to sleep on the plane. Now, I wasn't getting ready to break mine down that I have because it happens to be 12 milligrams. I'm not getting ready to break that thing down to three milligrams. I just happened to take one last night. Wouldn't you know that was the first night I didn't have any pain. Coincidence? I don't know. But I'm letting you know I took one of those melatonins and I was not in any pain last night at all. And you better bet I'm going to take one tonight. So 
if you're suffering from COVID and you seem to be that you're not recovering, FYI, you might want to try melatonin. I did. Just one of those things that I happened to read about and I tried it. And this was all with me already taking elderberry and a high dosage of the vitamin D and vitamin C. And I happened to add melatonin. And it was the first time I wasn't in pain. Hmm. Something to think about. Peace out, everybody.